Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Chris Finland back again. Wanted to go over a special bonus uh, episode in some, in some of the Power BI Report Builder or Power BI Paginate Reports training that I've been putting together and putting on YouTube. Uh, this one is uh, especially important, I think, for a lot of folks who are looking at this very specific scenario where they're trying to reuse their Power BI data sets uh, for their Paginate Reports. And one of the things that um, people often want to do, and in fact, Patrick LeBlanc and I talked about this in a video we did shortly after MBAS, uh, the Microsoft Business Application Summit in June, which is you can use the Performance Analyzer in the context of Power BI Desktop to take your DAX queries from your different visuals and simply paste them over into Power BI Report Builder. And there's actually documentation around there as a scenario, how you walk through this. The documentation is correct, but we did do some things in the video that have been confusing to folks. And honestly, we, if we had a chance to do it over again, we'd probably clean up a bit to make it clearer in terms of what the, uh, what the exact workflow is so people don't run into some of these challenges I'll walk through here today. And in fact, just in my conversation with the desktop team last week, the behavior that actually happens in certain scenarios uh, was a little surprising. And it's not that it's wrong, but I'll show you why it was a little surprising and how come that, uh, that was presenting challenges for some end users. So I have here a Power BI desktop file that I have, and this is actually the September blog post uh, sample report that um, was used for the blog post for the desktop team uh, in September. And these are all available, by the way, in GitHub if you ever want to go and download the sample desktop files that are used for the blog post. They're all available from a single GitHub repo out there. In fact, it goes back a, a couple years, I believe. So you can go and grab the file. So I just have it opened up locally. And again, I have Power BI Report Builder opened up as well. I'm connected to the September blog post item. And I also have DAX Studio open. I'll show you why I have that open here in a moment. DAX Studio is a community tool that Marco Russo, one of the MVP, and some folks have put together, which is a great way to, to work with your DAX in a number of different scenarios. So I'm going to jump back over to desktop here. So I have the performance analyzer open. Uh, so this, again, this video assumes you're familiar with the performance analyzer. If I go to view, you'll see that I have it checked and I already have it recording. But what I need to do right now, I've cleaned out the, the text here so you can see it. I'm going to refresh the visuals. And it's going to show you on the page all the visuals kind of go back, load, and then it gives you, when you open them up, the DAX query used for each of the videos. Uh, excuse me, for each of the elements on the page. So if I click on Copy Query, I want to show you something interesting that happens here. So I'm copying the query for this matrix visual right here. And so I'm going to first go into Report Builder, and I'm going to add a data set. You'll see here, I'll pick the data source, which is the blog post. And one of the things I want to call out to folks as I'm doing this, you can't first go to the uh, expression area and paste this in. This is a mistake Patrick and I made where I had forgotten you actually have to go into the query designer first. We're actually going to try and uh, actually allow this scenario here on the product team to make this simpler for folks as opposed to having to go through what I'm about to show you. But again, just for now, you have to keep this in mind. If I go to the query designer, you'll see here that it opens up and I have access to my model. Now, if I want to go and paste in the text of the DAX query, right now I'm in design mode. I need to change it to text mode. And then I can just hit control V and then you'll see I have the DAX query that's used for that, uh, for that visual in the Power BI desktop file. Now, here's where the challenge comes in. What happens when I run it? Well, that's odd. That's only giving me this result back. Why is that? Well, I'll show you why. What actually happens with a Power BI desktop visual, and I'm going to paste this same query into uh, DAX Studio and then run it, you see it actually gives me back three results because it's actually executing three queries. And so that's one of the pieces of magic of the desktop is that for each of those visuals, it's actually sending back a number of DAX queries that all work together to bring you back the resulting visual and for many of the visuals in the desktop. So you see your result set one ex matches exactly what I got in Power BI Report Builder. It brings back the first queries result. However, if I click on these tabs, you see that there are additional items that it's bringing back and then the third result set, you see all the additional information. Now, this doesn't help you in the context of Power BI Report Builder because, again, it doesn't support this type of multi-result set for visual, uh, at least in the same way desktop does. And again, we've just scratched the surface on what you can do with paginated reports, but for the purposes of this exercise, you're essentially stuck at this point. You can't use what you're getting from that particular visual in your desktop file. So. 
you also would run into a similar issue with this visual. You see here, I have my stack bar chart, and if I copy that query, and I'll run it in, uh, in here. Um, so again, I'll go highlight this out. Yes, this is very lazy of me, and then copy and paste this in, run that, and you see the same thing. I'm getting back two result sets. So how do you deal with this in the context of Power BI Report Builder? Well, the way you need to do this, and the reason why it worked for Patrick and I, and is in the documentation in the way it is, you have to have this as a table. So any visual you want to use other than a table, you almost assuredly will run into this challenge. However, if I change this to a table, and again, this is the purposes of a video, this is kind of a simple scenario, but you see here, I've changed it to just a table. I've kept the fields the same. It's country, class, average sales, sales amount, and year. Keep in mind, once you get the data over into Power BI Report Builder, you can massage it in ways, or you can use visuals that will give you the same effect as it does in Power BI Desktop for many scenarios. But just to get the query in, remember, your query results are just a table of data. So if I go here, and you see that I've changed it to a table, and I say, okay, I want to get the query now. What's interesting is if I get rid of all this, delete it, and hit that, it's going to give me a table because that only returns a single query to bring back that table of data. Now again, you probably aren't gonna want to aren't gonna want the is grand to total row is showing on your particular item in your report. And again, you don't have to use all these fields in the context of your uh, in the context of your visuals in Power BI Report Builder. And you can if you're feeling Feeling up to it, you can go and you can delete the items here that you don't want to show as part of the results, depending on how comfortable you are with the DAX. But that's the big thing to keep in mind with this, is that if you want to use your visuals from your Power BI desktop reports, change it to a table. You can change it back when you're done. Once you've grabbed your query, just change it back and you can bring back the results, the, the, the visual you were looking for. I mean, if I just hit undo, there. It goes right back to the matrix I had. So again, this is a really important thing to keep in mind because it, there is a lot of value in just simply grabbing the queries from the visuals on your reports to bring them over into Power BI Report Builder, but there are some gotchas to keep in mind, and I wanted to bring that front and center to everybody's attention here on this Sunday. Thanks very much, and I'll be back soon with uh, some more videos on parameters going forward. Bye-bye.